Today I'm going to show you a complete paint tutorial for Jeff Hardy from WWE and TNA. His iconic painted faces vary in each appearance, but his badass high risk maneuvers can be seen in every match. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, or I'll send Jeff to personally deliver the Swanton Bomb. For a list of products used in this tutorial, check out the video description below. It is Friday, bros and ghouls. Willusionist here with another tutorial. For real. Start by making some armbands out of pantyhose and slicking back your hair. If you want to see a tutorial for the armbands, leave a request below. Next, start applying the first color of the design using a medium pointed brush. I'm using Snazaroo Classic Orange because it matches the armbands. Snazaroo is a great brand for all ages because it's non-toxic and safe for kids. Divide the face into halves and begin filling in all the negative spaces with color. Extend the triangle out from the nose area, leaving a gap of negative space between. You can reference any photo of Jeff to be more accurate. Paint a vertical line down from the top lip and extend a point running along the length of the jawline. This gives the design some stronger features. Paint the point up to the bottom of the ear and fill in with orange. Start to fill in the area under and around the eye, leaving a triangle above exposed. Avoid painting the lips for now. Now apply white to the second half of the face. Again, I would recommend Snazaroo Classic White because it's non-toxic and good for all ages. Extend the border along the hairline and add a triangle that points inward at the middle of the forehead. Add another triangle at the mid face, extending toward the bottom of the nose. The edges follow the curve of the jawline and should be filled in with white. Divide the face in half at the middle and add one more triangle that extends to the top lip. Fill in the design with white. Fill in an additional segment of white from the outer nostril to the middle of the face. Leave a negative space in the center and don't paint over your triangles. Time to add our border and line designs in black. Use a medium flat brush that has a perfect width for the lines. This way you don't have to go over them a million times. Jeff uses paint markers and sticks, but I feel like a brush gives me more control. Follow the border and inner designs right along the edge. This also helps cover up any muddy lines, making them more crisp. Now turn your flat brush sideways and use the tip to add vertical lines in the negative spaces. Keep them equal distance apart. Paint around the eye, leaving the upper eyelid completely exposed.
continue adding a border to each shape on the colored half of the face. Add a few cut lines that come into the color for more effect. Paint around the other eye again, leaving the upper lid exposed. Add a black border to the triangle. Using a small pointed brush, fill in the upper eyelids with white. This part takes some patience. Try to avoid blinking and allow the paint to dry thoroughly before opening again. Using a color that matches your face paint or outfit, add an iris to the white of the eye. Stay in the center of the upper lid and be very careful. When the iris is complete, Add a black pupil using a small pointed brush. Continue to avoid blinking or opening your eyes all the way. A black smudge could ruin the whole look. Dun dun dun. Finish off the pupil with one last white highlight for each eye. Finally, fill in the lips with black, avoiding any outside design. Your look is complete. Don't forget to stay tuned for more videos and have a happy Halloween.